I'm Chris Clark. I'm the Senior Director of Security here at the Buffalo Bills. This is my 14th season. We have a number of responsibilities in the security department. Naturally, the campus, our 200 acres here in Orchard Park, the stadium, the training center, the field house, and all of our players, coaches, and personnel. It's our job to keep them safe. The ground was broken in 72 and the stadium opened in 1973. The stadium has one access area to the field and that's the tunnel, which is good for security purposes. It's kind of tough for operational purposes. Game day is the epitome of our schedule. It's a busy day. The stadium's ops people are here at five o'clock in the morning. Everything has to be consistent from one side to the other, and everything's got to line up on this line. Every game is the same thing. Everybody's running around like a chicken with his head cut off. And somehow we get it all done. There are hundreds of people who pass through the tunnel on any given game day. Newer stadiums will have two, three, maybe even four different access points. We're dealing with one tunnel down onto the field and a tunnel that's only about 20 feet wide. So we have to move all of our operations and football equipment that's used on the field through the tunnel. And we also have to move all the personnel, staff or players or coaches, media or guests through that same area without those interfering with each other's function. You have the locker rooms, and then you'll see some doors that are a little higher. That's a back entrance to the Bills equipment room. And then on your left, you'll see the door that goes to the official's locker room. Just beyond that is a door that leads down into the belly of the stadium. On your right is the room that goes over to the TV interview room for after the game. And to your left is the media photog area, and they have a room there that they can work out of. And then the drumline dressing room is back in that left hand area also and then the gates open and then you're out on the field for a one o'clock game our players and visiting team are getting here anytime between 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. Gates open at 11.30, that's when fans will start filling not only the stands, but the sidelines for any of our on-field guests. We'll do rehearsals down here. If we have national anthem singers, then you start getting into officials coming in, teams showing up, staff, coaches, and then all that has to be off prior to kickoff, so. I think the most hectic time in the tunnel is just before the pregame show. Gentlemen, how's everyone doing? Morning. You're Billy? All right, nice to meet you, Mike. It's 12.25 and we're getting ready for the pre-game on-field activities. I basically try to get the cameras in place uh, to where they're supposed to be to cover any of the on-field activities, pre-game and halftime. I'm in communication with Mike Adamek upstairs. That's who I make sure I get my cues from. Hello, hello, hello. And Billy Buffalo is gonna scan the crowd. Copy that. Uh, today we're gonna have the Play 60 ceremony. We're gonna be honoring the St. Bonaventure Final Four team. And then we've got our normal pre-game, which will be Stampede, and then the intros of both sets of teams. Yeah, you can start to walk him down. Guys, we're gonna follow down here, yep. We're gonna follow us down. Okay, where are we going, camera four? Okay, set your shot, camera four. Bring it out, guys. Keep coming, guys. We're gonna get individual shots of each of you is the goal, okay? So we got Gene, we got Matt. Are you related to Dr. Call, the dentist, or no? My cousin. Cousin? All right, I know. Stand by camera four, stand by Clay. Stand by here. You want me, you want him in place now? We can get him set now. Preston, we can go, we can go. Okay, play 60 set, Bonnie's are set, and Stampede is set, copy? Copy. Let's go tunnel camera, please. Little music. Uh, we'll have more folks on the field for pregame than we'll be on the field during the game. It's pretty congested when you've got a multitude of people. Manage it with good staff and uh, good communication. Oh, he's not going to do? Stand to Mike. Doug Flutie is going to do the uh, AAA. Hey, 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 hey. That's what I'm just being told. Everybody's back and forth, and certainly that period from 12.45 to 1 o'clock where you've got everything being set up. You're dealing with a 20-foot wide tunnel, and then at that time you've got a canopy down at the base of it where player introductions are going to happen, jamming up a good portion of it. So it's a very busy place in that time. Three, two, one. Let's go full board, 360 bison. Stand by to send them. Stand by, guys. Stand by camera four in five, four, three, two, one, on camera, send them, go. Go ahead, Billy, go ahead, go ahead, guys, let's go, let's go. Jordan Phillips will be going out with Ed Oliver. Jordan Phillips will be going out with, with Ed Oliver. Stand by camera four, stand by Jerry Hughes. Copy that. On camera, go. Send him. Go ahead, Jerry, go ahead. 
After players in that, cue the color guard. We're there for the coin toss. Standing by for captains. Here come captains. And then it gets kind of crazy right after so that kickoff can get off on time. Let's go, Buffalo! Let's go, Buffalo! The Bills think he won it! Thanks, Ryan. Thank you, Doug. Great job, everybody. It looked great. The rest of the game is a little bit less hectic. Kickoff is when we finally get a chance to take a break. All the pregame activities are done. We've gotten all the equipment off the field, relax, and hope all goes well. Years ago, I started directing traffic out here in 1975 as a deputy. In those days, my predecessors only worried about people selling fake tickets or maybe climbing over the fence to get into a game. And that has changed throughout the industry. We're all concerned about the big picture, about mass gatherings. So all of us do our best to make our facilities safe and secure for our fans.